we need to install three NuGet packages. So right click dependencies and select manage NuGet packages. Go to browse and the one we want is Microsoft dot entity framework core. So again, it's Microsoft dot entity framework core. So select that one and currently the latest stable version is 3.0.1. I suggest you also install this particular version even if uh, newer versions are available because those may not be compatible with our project. So I'm going to install 3.0.1. Let's just click OK and accept. And it has been installed. Now Entity Framework Core that we just installed is basically the Entity Framework Core data access technology which is our database access. So the next thing we want is Microsoft.EntityFramework.Core.SQL Server because we are going to be working with SQL Server. So select that one and again the version I'm going to install is 3.0.1. So this installed our SQL Server. And finally, I want Microsoft.EntityFrameworkCore.Tools and select that one. And you can see that this allows us to use commands like add migration, update database and such that we will need in order to create our database from our code. And the version is 3.0.1. So again, click OK and accept and install the Microsoft Framework Core tools. So with this, our project is prepared to start adding our code and we'll start with adding the entities.